I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter. I'm the head coach for JobSearchCoachingHQ.com and NoBSCoachingAdvice.com. And, you know, I want to ask you a question. When a soldier is on the battlefield and they wake up one day and they go to themselves, eh, I really don't feel like doing that. What do they do? If a pro athlete wakes up one day and says, I really don't feel like practicing, what do they do? I think you know the answer is they do it anyway. Why? Because it's needed. It's important. And they get that message that sometimes they have resistance to doing things and learn to do it anyway. So, you know, whether it's a soldier on the battlefield or, I don't know, Dwayne Wade, uh, who has been a successful pro athlete for so many years, or, or LeBron, or, or Eli, or Peyton Manning, whomever the, the great athlete is, they practice anyway. They do what's needed even though they don't feel like it. What do you do when you wake up and have that epiphany and go, I don't feel like going to the gym today. Or yeah, I think I'll coast through my work day and do it at uh, 50%. Do you tell management to hold back on 50% of, the, of your pay for the day? Or do you expect full money even though you're doing it, shall we say, with half effort? Going pro is a commitment to yourself. And I want you to hear that one. Going pro is a commitment to yourself that the lazy way, the halfway approach to things, giving 50% effort isn't going to get you to where you want to get to. If you're thinking of starting a business and you're going to commit money to it, and that money could just be, I'm not going to have a regular paycheck. I'm going to dive in whole heart, a whole hog. Or I'm going to give up my evenings and work at night so that my kids will have it easier and I'll be around more. You know, you could do it halfway, but there's no point in it. You'll fail. Going pro is a commitment to yourself and to those around you that you're all in. Not half effort, all in, in making something great happen. Being successful at what you want to do. Now, if you want to be a halfway performer, that's your prerogative. But you have to stop blaming others for why you're not successful. Because, as is usually the case, you're the one holding yourself back. And I'm going to repeat that one. For those of you who don't go all in, you are the one holding yourself back. And given that you have these voices in your head that you think they're yours, but there are someone else's voices that gotten planted in there uh, at a certain stage in life that says, okay, I don't deserve this. I haven't earned this. I shouldn't have this. Don't do it. It's not safe. You know, you could fail. Well, the you could fail message is one of those really, really tricky ones because of course you could fail, <laughs> but you're on the path to failure by not going all in. I'll simply say that the best way, the easiest way to overcome these messages is to get coaching because these messages show up and they're very powerful. Resistance you know, is not futile, as, as, as was said in Star Trek. Resistance is powerful. It can be overwhelming. It can be the big difference between winning and losing for you professionally and personally. It can be the difference be, between you having the job, career, business relationship that you want or having your fear run you and keep you from being effective. So my encouragement is, Get a coach to help you. If you visit nobscoachingadvice.com or follow the link down below, schedule some time with me. Let's get acquainted. Let me see if I can help you. Let's talk about what your challenge is. Let's work together for a couple of months and you know, we'll have a quick conversation, see if I can help, and then ideally work together for a few months to help you overcome the problem. 
overcome the challenge and help you start being bigger and quieting the voice. Hope you found this helpful and hope you have a great day. Take care.